Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chrisman XMNN, and for today's video, I'm going to share to you my tips and tricks for the Poco F5. So let's start. To preserve the life of your power button from frequent usage, enable this feature. Double tap to wake or turn off the screen from the lock screen. To do that, go to settings, tap on always on display and lock screen, then enable double tap to wake or turn off the screen when the device is locked. When the screen is off, you can double tap to wake the screen, then double tap to turn off the screen. And also, to lock the phone without using the power button, we will need to use the lock widget. To do that, just pinch the screen. Tap on widgets, then tap and hold the lock one by one widget, drag it to the desired location of the screen. Now you can lock the phone without using the power button. You can also lock the phone by pulling down the notification shade, then tap on the lock screen option. Lastly, double tap a blank screen to lock the screen. To do this, just go to settings, home screen, and enable double tap to lock the screen. To make the user interface smoother, we will need to set the refresh rate of the phone. To do that, just go to settings, Tap on refresh rate, tap on custom, then select 120Hz refresh rate. Please be mindful that it will consume more battery in this frame rate. Make your phone feel faster or snappy. Enable this feature. Go to settings, tap on about phone, tap on MIUI version for 7 times until you will see a message that you are now a developer. Then tap back, go to additional settings, then tap on developer options. Then scroll down to window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. Set each option to 0.5 animation. Now your phone feels faster. Charge your phone's battery to 80%. The purpose of this one is to prolong the battery life. The longer your phone is connected to your charger, the more heat it generates, which is not good for your battery. Taking a screenshot is easy by using the three finger swipe down gesture. You can also create a long screenshot as well. Always on display. To enable this one, go to settings, tap on always on display and lock screen, tap on always on display. Enable it and choose a theme. Now you have an always on display feature on your phone. Dark mode. This is to save more battery, especially the Poco F5 has an AMOLED screen. To do this, just pull down the notification shade, select dark mode. For some reason, if you're using Facebook, the feature will not automatically apply. To enable dark mode for your Facebook, application open the application first then tap on the three horizontal lines at the upper right then scroll down to settings and privacy then dark mode and enable it now your facebook is in dark mode uninstall pre-installed apps the poco phone comes with pre-installed apps that you may not use which occupies some storage of your device if you have two accounts in one application the dual apps feature will be useful for you to enable this one go to settings select apps then dual apps select the app you want to clone floating windows to enable this one, open the application that you would like to be in floating window. Tap on the recent button, then tap and hold the app. Select this icon for floating window. Now you have floating window and you can minimize it by sliding the window to the sides. You can only open a maximum of two floating windows at the same time. Split screen. To enable this one, open first the application that you would like to be on a split screen. Then tap on the recent button, tap and hold the app. Select this icon for split Split screen then select the second application now you have a split screen second space if you want to separate your workspace and personal space using one phone you can create two profiles in your phone that does not share space files or applications to do that just go to settings additional settings select second space turn on second space after setting it up now we are on the second profile of the phone now let's try switching from the second profile to the first First profile by using my index finger which I have set to the first profile. Notice how quickly it switches profile from the second profile to the first one using the fingerprint sensor. Now let's try switching again to the second profile. The second space or the second profile does not share storage or so whatever applications that you have on the second profile will not be shared to the first profile. So it's definitely having two phones in one. Another way of securing your privacy is through the use of app lock. 
you can lock and unlock a specific application using a pattern or fingerprint scanner. To do this, just go to settings, select apps, select app lock, turn on app lock, create an unlock pattern, then it will ask you to sign in to your Xiaomi account if you have one just in case you forgot your password or your pattern and it needs reset. Now it will show the recommended applications that need to put under app lock, then tap on use app lock. It will then ask you to turn on the fingerprint unlock. From here, it will show the list of applications you would like to set the app lock. If you want to know how much RAM the phone uses, enable this feature. Go to settings, home screen, enable show memory status. If you think you may need more RAM, use this feature. Go to settings, additional settings, memory extension. By default, my phone is set to 3 gigabytes more, but you can set it up to 7 gigabytes if you really need more RAM to your phone. If you don't want to use the system buttons for recent home or back to navigate your phone, enable this feature. Go to settings, home screen, system navigation, then select gestures. Now the buttons at the bottom are gone. You may now use gestures to navigate the phone. Take advantage of Game Turbo for your games. It houses your games and not only that, it added additional settings to improve your gaming experience. For example, when launching the app, or your game, you will have this shortcut at the upper left side of the screen. Just swipe it to the right and tap boost. You can also enable performance mode. If you have accidentally removed it from your home screen, no worries. You can add it back to your screen by launching the security application. Then scroll down, then tap on game turbo, then tap on settings, enable home screen shortcut. There you have it. Just leave a comment down below what's your favorite tips or features and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this in the future. Once again, this is Chrisman XMNN. See you in the next one. Buyers!